What's up guys? Roy's Customs. Ah, uh, here momentarily means I've been showing Kendall the basics of welding with this FlexCore welder. I am going to attempt to do a horizontal butt weld. I'm going to see if it can even be done with a FlexCore welder. I don't know for sure. I've not really looked it up and I've not really seen it done. But I'm going to attempt a horizontal butt weld here for you momentarily. Here in a little bit. After he's done playing around a little bit, I'm going to get me a couple pieces of metal and I'm going to see if I can do a decent horizontal butt weld. What you have to remember about the horizontal butt weld is the gap on it. The gap has to be just right. If it's too much, then it won't work out very well and if it's not enough then it'll get pretty messy looking so if you've got a halfway decent just just about the right gap you can actually make a nice clean horizontal butt weld um, so and this is something for a little bit more advanced people that's why I'm making this a totally separate separate video from my learning video so so here goes nothing and I'll get to it in a moment and I'll show you that and we'll see what, how it turns out. Okay, I have my metal prepared and now I am going to attempt this horizontal butt weld with a flux core welder. As you can see, there is a gap in this. Like I say, uh, you actually want to have a gap when you're doing a horizontal butt weld. Um, you don't want it to be too much and you don't want it to be too little. Um, I also went ahead and I angled the the bottom piece so that for the rundown um, but uh, with a flex core welder I don't think you're gonna have much rundown not like uh, not like with a MIG welder but anyways I'm gonna set this back a little bit because like I say I still don't know what this thing's gonna look like until I actually get to ed editing uh, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna attempt this to see what see what exactly it's gonna look like because uh, I don't even know for certain if you can even do a decent horizontal butt weld with a flux core welder but hopefully ugh, man, what a mess Anyways, hopefully it'll turn out okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and crank this up. This is a bit thicker stuff. This is, um, I think it's 16th or something. Um, so turn that on high. I'm gonna run it on about six. And get the welding hood. And make sure we're rolling. And I'm gonna go ahead and attempt this horizontal butt weld. Um, I'm going to show you how it really should be done. Um, you want it to be kind of angled up a little toward the upper piece. And as you run across it, you want to go back and uh, kind of do, not necessarily baby C's on it, but kind of back and forth so that you know you can kind of get good penetration you want it to be penetration for the top and the bottom piece so um, anyways we're gonna do this and we're gonna see how it turns out but this is my flex core wire feed uh, horizontal butt weld It actually probably used could have used a little bit bigger gap because it actually is kind of sitting on top, but uh, 
Uh, I'll tell you what, it can be done, apparently. Let's see what we got here. Pull this thing on. Clean it up. See what it looks like. I dare to say that don't look too bad. Oh my. Let's see how strong it is. We'll get the four pound sledge. Oh wow. Uh, yeah. Horizontal butt weld. You'll want a little bit bigger gap than what I had uh, to make it cleaner, but um, it can be done. And it don't look too bad. Like I say, it's a little gloppy because I, I, well, I didn't have a big enough gap, but, and that's what I was saying earlier. The, the gap is pretty important on your horizontal butt welds. Um, that way, if it's in a surface spot, it's easier to smooth out. Uh, but if it's in a hidden spot, um, as long as it's welded together good with good penetration, like I say, that's a, that's a four pound sledge we just hit that thing with. Nada. So, that's pretty good. Well, I did bend the metal, but that's probably because it's hot. But anyways, horizontal butt weld, and it don't look too bad. Looks pretty good. It's hot as shit, but... Pretty decent. Not bad. And it handled the four pound sledge. So that right there, that, that's, a, that's a testimony to that uh, Flux Core Chicago Electric Welding welder. Okay guys, thank you for watching. Um, uh, feel free to subscribe and um, have a spectacular day or night, whichever one it is for you. Peace out.